paano isolve ang geometric sequence kapag yung common ratio ang pinapahanap. Tara at pag-usapan natin yun dito. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at mat. Hi everyone! Welcome sa lasa natin ngayong araw. So ngayon, itutrain natin ang usapan natin about geometry sequence. And this is now part number 3. If you were not able to watch part 1 and part 2, better watch it first para masundan nyo yung lesson natin for today. Ayan. So sa part number 2, nag-end tayo sa challenge question na ito. What is the common ratio of the geometric sequence with first term of 7 and 5? term of 112. And I'll show you now how you're going to solve kapag ang common ratio naman ang nawawala. And let's get started. Ayan. Alright, so what is the common ratio of the geometric sequence? So, obviously, common ratio yung R yung pinapahanap with the first term, A sub 1, A7, and fifth term of 112. So, same process tayo. Formula, given and solution. So, formula, don't forget, syempre geometric to, yung formula ng geometric sequence na gagamitin natin. Which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. Okay, so let's start with the given. a sub 1 muna. Ang a sub 1 natin ay first term, so that is 7, nabanggit naman sa problem. Next, ang r natin, what is the common ratio? Ibig sabihin, siya ang pinapahanap, siya ang question mark natin. Next, n. So, ang n, pang ilang term yung a sub n natin. So, since ang a sub n natin ay 112, pang ilang term daw yan? Pang fifth. Ibig sabihin, ang n natin ay 5. O, tapos itong 12 ay 112, eto ay a sub n. Ayan. Or a sub 5 is equal to 112. Ayan. So, tapos na ang given. Meron na rin formula. Let's go to our solution. So, sa solution, don't forget, write first the formula. Then, after writing the formula, kung ano yung nasa given natin, ipapalit lang natin doon. Or, substitute this given. So, yung a sub 1 magiging 7. Be careful doon. 112 dapat ang a sub 5. Ito yun, a sub n. Tapos, ang n is 5. Tapos, ang r natin as is lang. So, huwag siyang gagalawin kasi nga, unknown pa yan. So, by doing that, ito yung lalabas. Double check nyo na lang. Para sure tayo sa magiging final answer natin. A sub n, tama. 7 ay a sub 1, correct. Then n is 5, correct din. Tapos r and negative 1. Ayan. And after that, so eto muna. Yung exponent mo lang isolve natin. That's 5 minus 1. That's 4. Ayan. Then after, since etong r ang hahanapin natin, hindi siya r raised to 4, r lang dapat, i-divide muna natin siya sa 7. So, divide by 7, this process is the multiplication property of equality wherein we're going to divide this by 7. Ayan. So, divide by 7 both sides of the equation. Tapos, mawawala ngayon yung 7 kasi magiging 1 na lang yan. This is 1 r raised to 4 or just raised to 4. Tapos, dividing 1, 12, and 7 will have this result. 16. Kapag dinivide yung dalawa, 16 na magiging sagot. But, the problem here is that ang hinahanap natin ay r. Right? We're looking for r and not r raised to 4. And how are we going to get rid of this? Paano ito mawawala? Yung raised to 4? Ayan. So, review nyo. Makipagkaibigan ulit kayo kay radicals. Ayan. So, kailangan nyo alamin ulit yung paano yung radicals. Paano nga ba ginagawa para at least mawala itong naka-raise na yan. So, ang application nun ay yung radical. Kapag raised to 4, para mawala yan, kailangan ma-divide ito sa 4. And mangyayari lang yon kapag gagawan natin ng 4th root. Yung index natin ay naka 4th root or naka 4. So, 4th root of r raised to 4. Diba ang concept nito? Ang exponent, dito sa loob, i-divide doon sa labas. 
So, 4 divided by 4, magiging 1 na lang ito. So, ang mangyayari dyan, magiging r na lang siya, which is, siya ang pinapahanap natin. Right? So, since r ang pinapahanap, successful tayo doon. Matatanggal natin yung 4 na ito, kasi magiging siyang r raised to 1. But, eto naman ang ating iisipin. Paano ba iniisip yung 4th root ng 16? Ganto lang po kasimple. Ah, Nag-iisip ka lang ng isang number. Again, one number na kapag minultiply ng apat na beses sa sarili niya, ang sagot ay 16. Again, mag-isip ka ng isang number na kapag minultiply sa sarili niya, ang sagot ay 16. Let's say, start ka sa 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. So, apat yon. Trial and error dito. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Hanggang sa makuha mo yung result na 16. Kung alin doon ang lalabas yung 16, alin man doon, yun ang magiging sagot natin. So, in this case, ito yon. Ayan. So, lumabas yung 16 doon sa 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And we'll have positive 16. So, ibig sabihin, ang 4th root ng 16 ay yung 2 lang. Ayan. So, therefore, ang R natin, bakit naging R na lang yan? Kasi nga, divide lang to. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So, R, R raised to 1. And mawawala na siya ngayon sa radical symbol. Same as this one. Wala na siyang radical symbol. So, 2 is equal to R, or that is also equal to R is equal to 2. And this is now our common ratio. Ayan. So, ito na yung pinapahanap sa atin na common ratio. Ayan. So, that's how you deal with the problem kapag common ratio naman ang pinapahanap. Sige, let's try another example. What is the common ratio of the geometric sequence with first term of 5 and fourth term of 320? Again, same process tayo. Formula, given and solution. So, ang pinapahanap dito sa ating problem ay common ratio. Given naman si a sub 1, which is 5, kasi first term. And ang n ay 4, 4 kasi nga, fourth term yung a sub n natin, which is 320. And so formula, don't forget, geometric to, ito ang gagamitin. a sub n is equal to a sub 1, multiplied by r, raised to n minus 1. And get the given. a sub 1, ano? 5, first term. r, ano yung r? r is unknown, kasi nga siya ang pinapahanap, so question mark tayo dyan. Then, ang n natin, pang ilan yung 320, position nito, pang 4. So, 4 ang n. Then, ang a sub n or a sub 4, that is 320. Ayan. So, we're done with formula and given. Let's move now to solution. So, yung solution, don't forget, write first the formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. Then, after, substitute lang natin yung mga nasa given. Make sure na si a sub 1 maging 5, make sure si n magiging 4, and make sure si a sub 4 or a sub n ay magiging 320. And by doing that, ating lalabas. Double check niya ang lagi. Ayan, tama naman. Ang a sub 1 ay 5, tama naman. Ang r ay r lang kasi unknown pa siya. Ang n ay 4, so correct tayo doon. And after, ito mo ng uh, exponent. So, 4 minus 1 is 3, magiging siyang ganito. Ayan, so 5 r cubed. Then after, since ang goal natin matira yung r, so this time hindi pa siya agad-agad matitira. I-divide lang muna natin siya sa 5. And this is MPE or Multiplication Property of Equality, wherein we are dividing this by 5 to both sides of the equation. Ayan, so tanggal ang 5. Uh, one, magiging 1 na lang ito. 1 r cube or just r cube. And 320 divided by 5, that is 64. 64 is equal to r cube. Now, same tayo ng process kanina. So, since ang gusto nga natin ay r lang, diba? r lang naman ang pinapahanap, hindi naman r cube. So, magkaiba po ang r tapos ang r cube. Diba yun? So, kailangan maging r lang ito. And mangyayari yan kapag kinuha natin yung cube root. This time, cube root, bakit? naka sa 3. Kung ano tong exponent na ito, yan ang magiging index ng radical natin. So, kung kanina naging fourth root, kasi nga r raised to 4. This time, since naka-cube, cube root din ang gagamitin natin. So, cube root dito, cube root doon, 
Again, take note kung anong ginawa sa left, sa left, gagawin din sa right. So, cube root natin both side of the equation. So, magiging siyang ganyan. Cube root of 64 is equal to cube root of r cube. Ayan. Tapos, bakit naging cube nga yung goal natin? Kasi nga, kailangan natin magawang 1 ito. And mangyayari yun kapag na-divide yung 3, saka yung 3 na nasa index. Magiging siyang 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Kaya siya magiging r raised to 1. Ulitin ko lang ulit. Paano kinukuha itong radical na nandito? Nakadepende siya sa exponent ng r. Kung raised to 5 yan, 5th root. Dapat may 5 sa labas para maging siyang 1. Kung raised to 6 yan, dapat 6th root. Kung 7, 7th root. Depende siya sa exponent ng r. Ayan. So, dito, magiging r raised to 1 na siya. Lalabas na siya sa radical symbol. So, r na lang dito sa right. Sa left, iisipin lang natin ito. Ano ba yung number na kapag minultiple ng ilang beses kaya? Tatlo. Tatlo. Kasi siya yung index. Iisipin mo yung isang number na kapag minultiple ng tatlong beses, lalabas ang 64. Ayan. So, trial and error doon. Pero ito yung magiging sagot talaga natin. That's 4 times 4 times 4. Kasi ang kapag minultiple ng tatlo, 64 ang magiging result. And, ibig sabihin, ang cube root ng 64 ay yung 4 lang. Ayan. So, 4 is equal to r, or r is equal to 4. And that will now be the final answer. So, as simple as that. Ganun lang pang pagsasolve ng common ratio. Now, if you are ready, let's go to our humor drill. But if you are not, please go back to the discussion and saka ka mag-proceed sa humor drill natin para makuha mo yung tamang sagot. Alright, so I'll give you one problem here. What is the common ratio of the geometric sequence with the first term of 2 and the fourth term of 432? So I'll pause for a while now and I'll get back to you to give the answer. But if you still need time, feel free to pause the video. Your timer starts now. Alright, time's up. So let us now answer this problem. Ayan, so what is the common ratio of the geometric sequence with first term of 2 and the fourth term of 432? So pinapahanap ulit si common ratio, that's R. Given sa atin si first term na A sub 1, which is 2, and ang 4 is N, tapos ang 432 is our A sub 4. Kasi nga nasa fourth term yon. So same process, formula given solution. Formula, don't forget about this formula. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 multiplied by R raised to n minus 1. And the given, A sub 1, ano yung A sub 1? First term, that's 2. Then, ang R natin, siya ang pinapahanap, so question mark yun. Then, ang N natin, pang ilan daw yung 432? That's fourth term number 4 dapat. Then, ang A sub 4, that is 432. Ayan. Then, let's go to solution. So, solution, don't forget the formula, write that always. Then, uh, substitute natin yung mga given after that. So, ang a sub n, magiging siyang 432. Ang a sub 1, magiging 2. Ang n, magiging 4. Pero ang r, as is. Kasi, siya ang pinapahanap. Ayan. So, 432 is equal to 2. Multiply by r raised to 4 minus 1. So, solve muna to. Magiging siyang r cube. 432 is equal to 2 r cube. Now, para mawala yung 2, mag mpe tayo, divide natin both sides by 2. Ayan, para mawala yung 2. Ayan. Then, this will become r cube na lang, 1 r cube or just r cube. Then, divide natin ito. Then, we'll have 216 is equal to r cube. Now, so, paano nga ulit? Paano iisipin? Kasi dapat R lang ito. 
And mangyayari lang yun kapag kinuha natin yung cube root nito. Bakit cube root? Kasi dumipende tayo doon sa exponent ni r. So since 3, cube root tayo. Paano kung 10? So 10th root din. So dapat may 10 doon sa index natin. So this time, since naka-cube naman, cube root tayo ang gagamitin. Cube root dito sa right and cube root din doon sa left. Kung anong ginawa sa right, gagawin sa left. Ayan. O tapos, so eto, kasi dito tayo nag-base kay r cube, magiging r raised to 1 na lang yan. Magiging r na lang to. Ayan. Tapos eto naman, eto yung iisipin natin, yung 216. Ano kayang number ang kapag minultiply ng 3 times? Again, kay index titingin. 3 times. Dapat ang magiging sagot ay 216. Ayan. So, do the trial and error method, but I'll show you now kung ano yung number na yon. That is, uh, sorry, 6 times 6 times 6, which is 216. Ayan. So, eto yung magiging uh, cube root natin. Kaya 6 is equal to r or r is equal to 6. And that will now be the final answer. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you learned something today. But you will not end there. I'll give you another challenge question. And this will be about this one. And the first term of a geometric sequence is 1 and its common ratio is 3. Which term is 243? So ang pinapahanap dito ay pang ilang term daw si 243? Hmm. So, paano naman kapag n ang pinapahanap? So, ayan. So, try this on your own and let's check kung tatama ka dito sa sagot mo. Ayan. So, let's see each other on our next video. Bye-bye! Thank you, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did, please do share this to your friends who needs this lesson the most as well. And... Huwag mong kakalimutan mag-subscribe and i-click ang notification bell para maging updated ka sa mga latest videos natin dito sa si Humor PH. And don't forget that you deserve more, you can learn more, and you can be more. Hashtag Bye-bye! See you in our next video.